to winners. Back to winners. Ooh, we're hopping all around all over the place. It's going to be Zeke versus uh, Zomba, right? Yeah, Zane like versus Zomba. Zane, right. Yeah, Zane versus Zomba. And uh, Zane, they are very, very good at this game we call Super Smash Bros. And as is Zomba, we're going to be seeing a zoner matchup. These two are very, very proficient when it comes to those crazy combos that we associate with both of these characters. Obviously, um, with when it comes to Duck Hunt, that is Clay Pigeon. With Rob, that is those uh, gyro combos into Side V. Um, both of these players incredibly proficient at both of those. So I cannot imagine that we will not see them in this set right now. And this is a matchup that can definitely be a tough one for um, Duck Hunt. Rob, uh, generally regarded it as king of the zoners, tough to get around him if you are a zoner yourself, and certainly Rob's punish game um, probably outmatches Duck Hunt, but here we see why Duck Hunt's punish game, nothing to scoff at either. Oh, looking to get that back throw into the can, but the can couldn't quite get enough height wow. at the moment. What a beautiful up smash. Catching the shield drop at the perfect time. And now Zane able oh. to reverse that situation. And one of the things I think that is going to play a factor here is everyone plays Rob. Everyone knows how to play Rob, right? This is a matchup that we have, have to become accustomed to in this game. Whereas I am frankly not so sure that these two have played all that often. Ooh, missing the confirm on the gyro there did Zamba. But this is a matchup that Zamba might not have all that experience with. And seeing the up smash come out and then dropping shield afterward, being that that back hit hit Zamba, was maybe a little bit of matchup inexperience. It could be matchup. It's also, keep in mind, so hard to react to those sorts of yeah. things. Um, but now as we're moving on to this, we're in this sort of two stocks a piece game here. That clay pigeon, the second one, not going to be connecting. But Zane has been, for the last 15 seconds or so, consistently been getting a lot of damage. That high recovery with the up B, so brave to do. And look at the way that he's micro-spacing of this can. I'm honestly loving it. The fact that he'll hit it and then stop the can's momentum by wow. hitting it with the Still gun. Still not enough. And the thing is with uh, Duck Hunt is that while you at times can have trouble landing and Rob has such good anti-airs, you have so much mix with that upbeat. Being that it doesn't put you in helpless um, and you can click a uh, an aerial out of it. However, ooh, nice back throw knowing uh, that Zane, excellent masher, definitely has ooh, the ability to get out of those down throws. However, that F smash a nice read by Zamba going to be taking out stock number one. That's beautiful or stock number spacing. two, I should say. Yeah. Beautiful spacing from Zamba to take that smash. And I will, it's worth noting that every smash, every stock taken so far is with a smash attack. Yeah. And like what that means is that they're not really killing with these auto spacing tools that the mm -hmm. characters have. In the end, it's about call outs. It's about, you know, getting that anti air up smash or barely micro spacing and getting the forward smash. So this is going to be a type of matchup where even though a lot, you know, we sort of think zoner oh, versus zoner. Yeah. Oh, right. Actually, as I speak, the, the up air is enough to do it, just sneaking right underneath him. Needless to say, still a call out, running up to the block and then catching that jump. An excellent call out by Zane there. And they are looking very good so far. However, we are in a fairly even match. This is a scary situation for Duck Hunt. You're in the air without a jump against Rob. Zane finds a way down, rapid jabs, and now puts Rob in the corner himself. <laughs> Tons of pressure onto Zane's shield. He's retreating to the side here. Possibly a big combo, but it feels like Zomba, for the most part, is dodging the worst of what Dane is trying to set up. And right Ooh. as I say that, a back air at the ledge. That's going to do it. All right. I'm... You know, you were saying how those zoning tools from Rob are just kind of... They're kind of at the apex. Yeah. And that's one of the things we saw right there is just that fact that back air is so big. And that as a character like Duck Hunt, you don't, especially if your can is already out, mm -hmm. you don't necessarily have a great way of contesting a move like that yeah. to get back from off stage. And it's big. It auto spaces. It's a move that certainly is incredibly difficult to challenge if you are not a character with a lot of disjoint like Duck Hunt. Um, and we're seeing Duck Hunt and Zane coming out of the corner very often are clicking projectiles. Zamba, I think, started to adapt to that. We saw the uh, jump in with back air to punish the side B. It was an excellent job by Zamba. And I wonder, I wonder if that adaptation is going to be changed um, for Zane. going to be clicking less projectiles out of the corner, maybe. I wonder if the other solution is that, you know, Rob does have, you know, he has some very fast aerials, but for the most part, they're pretty slow. And Duck Hunt, you know, his aerials aren't necessarily the greatest, but they are decently quick. I wonder if trying to box him and, you know, 
basically, you know, throw out aerials before it's too late might be uh, a decent play from Zane right it, now. It is tough because Rob's boxing tools, especially on the floor, are rather uh, mm -hmm. good. Detailed, obviously, being the most prominent of all of those. And Fair, as well, being an excellent boxing tool. Um, it is tough for Duncan to play that game. Duncan kind of has his own. And an excellent read on the landing by Zamba is going to take that stop. I am so shocked that's still scooped. Oh, yeah. He that's was like a, six feet away from him. That's a big boy hitbox. Zamba uh, looking good so far, getting a little bit of a lead here. Um, we're going to need to be seeing a read from Zane. Almost gets it there on the reaction to down smash. However, not enough. The can. Not going to be doing it for Zamba there, or uh, for Zane there. Oh, oh, oh my the gosh. <laughs> the clay pigeon still active. Yeah, that's per sort of. Well, the clay pigeon can get hit while he's in hit stun, correct? Yes. So it's something that you have to be aware of. And I was, uh, I was actually going to mention how I'm really excited to see if we'll uh, some item plane from Zane. Uh, just the fact that you and know, the definitely he knows can. how to use them. Just enough. However, a trade for Zane there, not ideal. Already at 96%, and already being Ooh. put in a situation where nearly getting KO'd by the um, the Rob laser setup. Yeah. And that's another back air at the ledge. That's the second time we've seen one of those take a stock. And on top of that, Zomba's, uh, he's, he's intimidating him with the best teeter animation in the game. Oof. At least a top three teeter animation. Oh, for sure. And with that said, um, I think Zamba is starting to get a read on uh, Zane's options out of the corner, especially from the ledge. Uh, nice back air there and almost read by Zane, but misplacing that up air. Okay, I was going to say that Zane was doing a great job of, you know, forcing the air dodges and then punishing the next option, but Zomba adapting and then just barely changing his spacing. Zane is not able to convert like that, like he was even a moment ago. We're seeing the adaptation from Zomba in real time just do so much work. Oh my work. gosh, almost uh, getting a combo off getting hit there uh, was Zane. However, once again being put into a very similar situation as the last stock. We're being put already at 105%. Zane going to be looking for that grab, looking for that up smash. Um, we're getting dangerously close to both of those being KOs. Up smash certainly will KO with this percent. And that little laser just nicking him. Zane is all oh, put at 140 off stage. Forced to recover and duck hunt. We've already seen how this character cannot do oh my so gosh. great. The reflector, so brilliant from Zomba. Realizing that that was going to be the defensive option going that low that he would have needed to help cover for his recovery, but Roto Arm will hit the actual, you know, it covers the option of just going for the up B, and then also reflecting that can and turning it into a tool of its own destruction. Yeah, kind of forcing um, Zane into a 50-50 there. Had to recover incredibly low. That would have been near death regardless, I believe. But yeah, understanding that the reflector would have caught uh, Zane regardless is excellent recognition by Zamba right there, and an excellent job by him, and Zamba will be moving on. Yeah, uh, speaking of moving on, I'm really excited for this next game. It's